just following my shadow. <laughs> it's kind of neat, huh? You know, it's like I'm looking at myself, more or less. I never knew I was that tall. <laughs> I'm looking at my shadow, it looks like I'm a eight foot giant or whatever, you know? You guys ever looking at your shadow at all? Even on camera? Kind of amazing, huh? <laughs> and we're back for another great daily summer vlog. Day number 20. It's a beautiful day. You know, it's been a great weekend thus far. You know, it's Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Well, I think it's past 6.30 now, so it's almost Sunday evening. But, you know, it's been... It's been great, you know. I mean, lately, things have just been going good, you know. And, I don't know, you know, a lot of, a lot of good things going on. You know, I became a... I became an uh, uncle, officially, for the very first time in my entire life. Uh, it was my dad's 59th birthday, this past Friday. And, let's see, what else is going on? Uh, yesterday I went with my sister to Thief River, actually, well, we, she went with me, it was uh, Toy Story 3, first time ever in a long time going to a, uh, actually, I think that's the first time we've gone to a movie together, just the two of us, <laughs> kind of funny story about that, though, uh, uh, when we went to Hugo's to get my check yesterday, uh, <laughs> See, because, you know, around here, you know, a lot of people, you know, don't ever see me with a, you know, they don't see me with a girlfriend or, you know, or a chick or whatever, you know. So what do you suppose a couple people were thinking, or a few people were thinking when they saw me? A couple of my co-workers, anyway, thought that, you know, well, one of them came up to me before I was ready to leave and said, Hey, Frankie, is that your woman that you're with? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> is that my woman? Yeah, at first I, was, I, I could have just said, yeah, yeah, that's my woman. That's that's my girlfriend, you know. That's that's who I love, you know. But no, I figured I'd be honest and say, man, that's my sister. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny. I mean, I, I wasn't really expecting that, but seeing how... I kind of work with a couple people who are horn dogs all the time, who, you know, that's what they think about 24-7, you know, almost. And if he's, well, you know, at least when they're around me or whatever, I always hear more sexual jokes and, and more than meets the eye, you know, no pun intended to Transformers. But anyway, so yeah, that was kind of the highlight of the day, I think, yesterday. But uh, all jokes aside, it was a good day yesterday. And that, Played right there now. A lot of good things happening. You know, just feel great. You know, I mean, I kind of feel like all of a sudden that you know that I'm like I'm on cloud nine and I don't want to get off it. You know, a lot of good things have been happening this summer, especially with this weekend. Because I said there was gonna be a lot of things going on this weekend, and there have been. You know, there have been, and uh, today we didn't really do a whole lot. So I didn't really feel much. Uh, we, we did go back to the Rozo Hospital and see my nephew again. One last time before he officially comes home. I believe, anyway, that they'll be coming home. They'll be coming home either tomorrow or Tuesday, as far as I know. Because everything seems to be pretty normal and all that. And, hey, y'all, that's one thing that I can say that I'm, I'm really happy about, blessed about, you know. The fact is that my nephew turned out normal. Because last minute I was thinking, what if there's something wrong with him? Like, you know, before he was born. What if he would have had Down syndrome or something? You know? And, you know, I always kind of wonder about that. I, I, I didn't really think about it. That's kind of the funny thing. I didn't think about that throughout the time that he, we, we heard that, you know, he was going to be born and all that stuff or that she, uh, his mother was pregnant, but I thought about it like the last few hours before he was born. That what if my nephew, my first ever nephew, officially, related wise anyway, would have had something wrong with him? I mean, I wouldn't have loved him less, or any lesser, 
But what if he would have had Down syndrome? What if he would have had, you know, some handicap that was so severe that was even life threatening? See, Jen, she had the, she had Isaac do a C-section, so it was already going to happen that she was going to have him on the 18th, two days ago, on my dad's birthday as a way of, you know, it just kind of worked out, and it was just a way to, you know, give my dad kind of the the ultimate birthday present, you know. And I was pretty touched by that, you know, just the fact that they wanted to do that, and the fact that it just worked out so well, you know. But we were so lucky and so happy that everything turned out, you know, that the mother and my nephew turned out okay. Uh, I will put a link to the side underneath or, or below where you can actually see a better, a more clear picture of what he looks like now. Because where we live, well, the, the hospital anyway, has a, has a website where they, every time they have a new newborn or whatever, oh, there you go, some wildlife. Every time there's a newborn or somebody born, they put their picture like 24 hours later on the internet so that people who 